And she's wearing a mask because she tested positive. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. Hi, I'm Anithia. I'm Justin. And today we're going to make some bread. Yeah, um, we can barely find any bread in the stores. Everything is wiped out. Everybody is panicking. So we decided to buy the ingredients to make our own bread. And she's wearing a mask because she tested positive. For nothing. Yeah. <laughs> our girls had the flu, our yeah. friends, but... And if you was sick, I think she might have had it, but she's better. Yeah, I think I probably had the flu, um, but then I got better. But before I got better, um, I passed it along to my twins. So now they have the flu. Um, so we all got tested and um, just the girls have the flu. So um, they're doing good. Um, Jordan's kind of, you know, she's up and down. Um, and Eden's acting regular, so I guess that's good. So yeah, <laughs> this was Anithi's idea to do this bread because you know we're in a, a <laughs> pandemic and in case the stores run out of stuff, we got ingredients so we're just going to make some bread. Chloe, stop. Yeah, bread. And she's had yeast around for a while because she makes her own booze because she's what? a terrible <laughs> alcohol. He's lying. <laughs> but yeah, we got uh, all our ingredients and the recipes on the back of the flour that we're going to follow here. Yeah, we're going to um, change a little bit of it because we actually did make some bread the other day. And it was great, like with the recipe on the um, bag. But I said I wanted to add just a little more of a few things. So I guess I want to do a, a few little tweaks. So, um, and hopefully that comes out good as well. Yeah. Well, let's okay. get to it, baby. Let's get to it. We're gonna watch So we finished washing our hands. Um, so the ingredients, and this is on the back of the bread. Um, this is um, bread flour. Um, you need bread flour, you need oil. We we are gonna use granola, I'm sorry, canola oil. <laughs> Corolla. <laughs> Corolla. Uh, uh, we're gonna use um, canola oil, and then you need some sugar. Um, you need some yeast. You can use active dry yeast, but we're using instant yeast. So it's just easier. Um, for us so and again this is bread flour so we're gonna use some bread flour so on the back of it it tells you to use seven cups of flour three tablespoons of sugar um, one tablespoon of salt and two tablespoons of shortening we did not do that last time um, we use oil instead uh, and I guess it's pretty much the same one it's just what thicker yeah. I don't know. I don't um, <laughs> and then it says use two packages of dry yeast or and that equals um, four and a half teaspoons. And then it says um, two and one fourth of warm water and two tablespoons of butter. So, oh, we didn't get the butter. I grabbed butter? the butter. Yeah. Okay. And Eden wanted to be in the video. She was freaking out. Yeah, so. Eden was acting crazy. So we had to add Eden to the video. Jordan is asleep. So... We're gonna just let her sleep. Yeah, both of their fevers are way down, so I don't think they're getting better. Yeah. So we're not gonna make this entire um, recipe. We're gonna split it in half. Well, kinda. Like I said, I'm gonna tweak some things. Oh, I thought I had the salt. I have salt sugar. Oh, it's right. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna do um, three cups of flour. And I'm a cook, and I do like cook a lot of things that I don't need recipes and things like that however I never made bread until the other day so I'm gonna try my best not to deviate too much because I don't really know um, I haven't played with the recipes yet so but it came out great that bread was good yeah I mean, it did. like literally one day all I ate was the bread we actually have some right here oh, yes, we, have, we have like a little small loaf that
Okay, so now we're at the point where the dough is all mixed and all the ingredients are mixed in there and it's ready to be kneaded. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna join in. I haven't done any. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Anithi has been doing all the work, so I'm gonna wash my hands and knead some dough. Uh oh. Okay, so now the bread or the dough is kneaded. Yeah, we um, kneaded it by hand. We don't have like any type of tools. Um, I guess if we continue to make bread, we'll invest in one. But um, but we need dough. <laughs> <laughs> You're so silly. Yeah, we need dough. Um, but um, it is finished. Um, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be the right texture, but. It looks good. It looks like it did the first time we made it. So um, I know some people don't like the sticky texture um, because, like you know, some people add a little more flour, so it won't be as sticky. Um, which I don't think is like that sticky. It's not sticking to my hands. Um, but last time um, it was really dry. So I mean, it still came out great uh, when we did it the last time. So I did add like a little more oil this time. Um, and again, it's, it's like more, it's, I guess it's more moist, a little but more again, moist. it's not so sticky that's sticking to my hand. So it's not sticking to my hand. So that's why when we were, when I was kneading it, I was adding more flour. She learned that, that it was sticky because it was too sticky. So I was mixing in more flour to make it not so sticky. Yeah. Um, and from, I guess Baker's secret is that if it is sticky, add a teaspoon of flour at a time and just check your texture. So I like it at this texture. Um, hopefully it comes out good because again, guys, um, we only made bread one other time and we did not deviate from the ingredients the last time. This time we did a little bit. So we're doing our own thing. Yeah. Um, and I said that we should anyway because I'm like, if we're going to be making bread, it needs to like be how I like it. Yeah. And I love nature's own bread, so <laughs> I don't know if it will taste like that, but it was really good last time. I can't say it was really good. It was good. So um we're gonna put it in the pot. Um I'm sorry, in the bowl. I am gonna coat it in a little flour just so it won't stick to um the bowl that I'm putting it in because we need to let it rise. Um and we'll come back to you and tell you how it went. Yep. Hopefully our dough doubled in size if we made it right. Um, see. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it did. Okay. Great. Okay, so we let it sit for about 45 minutes and it did um, rise. Yeah. Um, so let's see. It did stick to the pan because, again, remember, I'm not a professional. I was supposed to put the pan like in... Um, Oil, I was supposed to grease it in oil or butter, and I didn't. Um, but it's all good. It wasn't much if you show the pan. Like, it wasn't much that stuck to it. So, it's all good. Welcome, um, welcome to Amateur Hour Bread Night. Oh, time. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting a little flour on my hands so it won't stick to my hands. And oh, I gotta wash my hands. Just um, push out the air bubbles. I guess um, a few videos that I watched on this. Um, they push out the air bubbles and they put their bread in the square and then they start to shape it how they want it um, in the pan. So. Babe, you're the best looking bread maker I've ever seen. Oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> so funny. Okay, so. Um, what we did the last time, we um, just folded our bread. Um, not in really half, like kind of like, like, what, a, like, yeah, I, yeah, about a half. 
Uh, not quite a head. And then um and you fold the bottoms. Yeah, yeah. Fold the bottoms and and it gives you like that loaf, I guess, that loaf look. Oh, we gotta get butter for that, honey. To. While you're doing that, I'm gonna butter the bread. What do you call this? Bread pan? Yeah, I guess, or the silicone. Sil <laughs> the silicone pan, or whatever it is. Um, <laughs> again, we're new to this. Like, I cook a lot, but you know, I don't normally measure and all that. I just kind of know what I like and know what I know about the things that I make. So, this is new having to follow a recipe. I mean, occasionally my mom tells me about certain recipes and then she gives them to me and I make them, but of course I'm not filming. <laughs> And we're doing this in case, you know, coronavirus gets terrible. Yeah, and this can... is our coronavirus bread, I guess. This is our coronavirus survival bread. Yeah, and if things get crazy and we start getting zombies, then we'll do a video on making arrows. Oh, yeah. You do those good, mm -hmm. honey. <laughs> now, we're going to let it sit for another 45, 45 minutes. minutes. Yeah, so it can rise. Okay, so we actually did not let it um, sit for another 45 minutes. We only did about 15, 15 maybe. And that's because I forgot I had the stove on. So heat makes, you know, the dough rise. And I had it sitting on the stove, so it rose. It definitely rose. Um, yeah, pretty fast. Um, and I didn't want it to start spilling over. So um, we're going to keep it like this. And... Uh, we're going to bake it and we'll come back to you and show you the finished product. And how long is it we bake it? It's 375. Yeah, we bake it on 375 and so. about 30 to 40 minutes, um, just depending on how it looks. Um, that's what we did last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we, we did a lot of different things last time, but again, we're new to this. So let's just see how it comes out. I'll, I'm still in the description below. I'll put the exact... Um, ingredients that's on the bag that way you can make it exactly how it is on the bag or you can you know do your own variations all right well let's bake it okay um also this is um some water that we're gonna put in the oven with it um and just to like keep the steam flowing um from all the videos i watch i guess it keeps your bread moist um this is not hot right now but i'm gonna um, heat it up and then I'm gonna put it in the oven and I guess it will stay you know hot because it's in the oven um, <laughs> but I'll do that so we'll see you guys in a few see you in a few okay so we're back the bread is baked and it really <laughs> kind of got a weird shape but it looks it's his fault though because he was upstairs playing seven days to die and I'm telling him the bread is rising the bread is rising none of that happened whatever well you want to take it out and we'll see yeah so it looks good it looks good. It looks like a loaf of bread. Um, it's big at the top because we had it rise too much. And I, I did that. Um, but yeah, it looks good. Um, let's, I guess, see. We're going to try it out. The taste test. <laughs> let's see if we cooked it long enough. But I like the color. And, you know. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Outside of the top, I think it looks great. So, Oh, hear that crunch? Mmm. It's great. Okay, Chloe's gonna try some bread. You try it. So yeah, it probably tastes even better to me because um I've been on keto since January 1st and I have lost, what, 25 pounds? Yeah, she's doing great on keto. But um, I am breaking it to try the bread, as you've seen, and so it's probably extra good to me, but <laughs> it's really good. It's excellent. What do you think, Chloe? Is this good? <laughs> oh, good. Oh, really good. Hmm? It's very fluffy. No one anymore? It seems like the more you knead it, um, the fluffier it gets. Um, we kneaded it longer this time than we did um, the first time around. So it's fluffy, fluffy like regular bread. That seemed to have made a big difference, yeah, because the last batch it was good, but it was a little bit, I guess, tough, kind of. It was like sub bread, like, like Publix, if 
You ever had a sub from Publix? Yeah, this actually just tastes like regular loaf bread, but a little better. Maybe it's just because, you know, we made it. And stuff. Mm. But I, I think it's good. I probably should stop eating this bread. You should at least finish that piece. Something else Anitia did to prepare us for the coronavirus. She bought us a water filter. Yeah, I bought a water filter because it was, everybody was buying all the water. So, and then some stores is limiting the water to like um, two per family or something. But we have seven people in our house. Um, our daughters, they still take half formula and um, half regular milk. So I use bottled water for that. So I said, you know what? Let me invest into a filter because we're going to drink some water. <laughs> like, but, and we, we did a lot. Um, we didn't go crazy. We already had... Um, <laughs> We got some hand sanitizer that we bought a while ago because um, our daughters are um, preemie. They were premature. So when they came home, they were on the monitors and Jordan was on oxygen. So we actually already had a few of these. Um, we keep one upstairs and one down here. So we didn't have to go fighting for hand sanitizer. So that was a good thing. And um, what we're going to do too, um, below, in the um, and, uh, below in the description, um, I'll put what I did for my bread because again, remember I did deviate um, a little from the recipe, but I'm also gonna put the recipe that's on the bag as well for you guys. Um, it came out good. You washing hands, mama? Um, it did come out really good. Um, well guys, thanks so much for watching our surviving the coronavirus video. Yeah. That's really about making bread and water filters. <laughs> but uh, we enjoyed making this. And um, if you like this content, please like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next time. Bye.